Good afternoon, good evening, wherever you're watching this. I'm back out again today because I love it. I'm going mad at the end of the day. And it's going to be, I think, one of the hottest days of the year. Am I mad? Yeah, a little bit. Um, <laughs> I'm out with my knock a mac Lego. With a knock to macro leg end. Legend. Uh, I'm out with the leg end again today. Um, Trying some new bit of pasture that's just been cut for hay. Uh, digging is a little bit hard here, but I shall persevere. Uh, I haven't been on this field for about a year. So yeah, another decent field for me. Um, last time I was here, that was littered with World War II shrapnel. I'm hoping today I'm going to find a few coins. I'm hoping, I'm really hoping to find something with a bit of age to it. There is a Roman road nearby. That's all I can say on that one. So the possibility of Roman is there. But whether or not I find it or not, it's a different story. I hope I do. I really do. Right. Without further ado, Grim, it is <laughs> half eight in the morning. I'm trying to get out earlier, so hopefully it'll be a bit cooler. I think a hoodie's a bit of an overkill as well. Oh, talk about hoodie. Check it out. Yeah. yeah. Link in the description below. Um. Other than that, Grim. Right. Plenty of Ribena. Plenty of mints to keep your mouth moist. That's all I've got to say on the subject, right? I have updated my leg end. And let's just go out swinging today. I just want to go out swinging. I want to enjoy myself and hopefully I won't get bitten to death by horse flies. Fingers crossed. Right. Let's gas in. Let's do this. Up a chop. Well, did you remember my first signal with the legend? It wasn't that deep. Uh, a bit of a scratchy signal. And what a surprise, I, I, I predicted it at the beginning of the night, it's a bit of shrapnel. But um, I wouldn't be showing any more shrapnel, unless it's pretty shrapnel. But I'm here for the relics and uh got a bit of shade at the moment. I'm loving it. But anyway, I've already been bitten twice by the horse flies. They're out in force today, man, they're out in force. Right, grim with hay, fill in the hole, pat it down and trot on. I'm in the shade at the moment, next is massive hedgerow. Um, the sun's really low still, it's still quite early. And I've come across an egg. No, I haven't, it's a golf ball. I thought I found Saxon, but I didn't. I found Srixon. I found some Srixon. <laughs> well, not what I was after, but I'll take it. Off a chop. Mm, don't like them. Don't like digging these up. It's a blank, non-fired. Sort of blank round. Oh my god. What's happening down there? Are they red ants? No, the ants are killing a beetle. The battle of the beetle and the ants. You don't see this sort of stuff on David Attenborough. Look. Dun, 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 dun. Where's he gone? Oh my god, they are red ants, right? I'm going to leave, leave, leave them bad boys alone. Right, let's crack them. Oh, I knew that shade wouldn't last long. The sun's now out to burn me. Uh, I've got this here. I don't know what it is. It might just be a fitting of a tractor or something. Is it a fancy wing nut, maybe? Or is it something a bit older? Uh, the patina doesn't scream old, old to me. But yeah, any idea what that is? Is it like a, like a wing nut? Uh, I haven't seen them that shape before. Is it like a, I don't know. Anyway, it's one of them. <laughs> don't know, never had one before. Someone's going to say, oh, that's a Saxon teeth mount or something. I don't know. It's just one of them. I'll stick it in the, the look at me later side anyway, and let's uh, fill in the hole. Right, ladies and gentlemen, my next signal seems to be this here. It's something a bit old. I think that is an old pewter spoon bowl. See, it's all flaked off and that. Yeah, almost rang up like foil, that did. 
uh, like a really low number, but I still dug it and was rewarded with something a bit of the old stuff, but nothing amazing. So I'll stick that in the pot, we'll fill in the hole, and off we twat. Oh, look at the dust. It's like a, oh, it's like a desert. Right, let's crack them. I'm going to try and do a live dig if I don't get getting bit by bloody old, that was a meander git. Look. Ha <laughs> ha, he's squished. Right, live dig, what's I doing? Um, oh. 32. Yeah, 32. It's about here. Get the old spadage in. Oh, yeah. Create a hole to reveal the treasure. It's a bit of an iffy 32 though, but it could be something good. I haven't done a live dig today. So I might as well make the most of it. The ground here, you see, isn't half as bad as what my ground usually is. Like. Right. Nothing obvious. It's more chalky than it is flinty, which really does help with the digging. Because chalk's a very soft rock. Oh. Hey, what's that? Oh. oh. What's that? Is that like a lead bullet or something? Really crudely made lead bullet? It's lead, obviously, because the world was a lead bullet. It wasn't lead, duh. Uh, and here it is. Cool. Let's crack them. And he's on to his first of the day. It's a bloody button. Just seeing how long it took me to get out to find my first button. Does the clock even work on this? Yeah. Uh, hour and a half to find my first button. Look. I don't know why it comes out on camera. It says 9.55. All right, let's crack on. That glistened then and I thought I was onto a silver coin. It's not, it's the bloody button. Another bloody button. Oh, I'll say another one. It's only the second one of the day. Yeah, I caught a glimpse of that in the light and I thought, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, got a little bit excited over a bloody button. This is a mental game we play, isn't it? <laughs> right, let's crack on. Just taking a little breather under a bit of shade, which I found. Whew. <laughs> There's a bit on the warm side to say the least, a bit on the warm side. I can stand on this part of the field and look out at some of my other fields. I can actually see like hammered, 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 Saxon silver, hammered, Celtic stator. It's just kind of like, so I know there's got to be good stuff here as well. I just got to find it without being eaten to death. Right, if you like what I do, in all weathers, blistering heat, snowstorms, thunder and lightning, rain, you know. Ah, I just got eaten then on camera, I think. You little shizer cough. Um, yeah, hit the thumbs up and subscribe. Now, keep moving, get rid of these bugs. Off the chop. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, that's a deep hole. There's my, uh, Hand stabby on my pinpointer for reference. Uh, bloody huge button though. <laughs> Another bloody button. It's going to be a button day, isn't it? Not a coin. Just lots of fabulous buttons. Uh, not even nothing on it. Just another shanky one. Right, another deep hole. It's uh, had a big stone in it underneath as well. Right, let's crack on. Oh, and after the ages about finding an obligatory, and now I seem to be on an obligatory roll. Uh, last hunt. Well, I had four, five up in a, in a day. Today is my first one. But musket ball. Let me. Old people are up here shooting their guns, going bang bang. And I'm going to say old rich people. So hopefully, old rich people left old rich things behind. Don't I? Like gold coins, rings, anything, anything. Just a single coin. <laughs> Keep going. This one sounds different. This signal. And it's a high one as well. 46, 45, 46. Oh, 
There's gonna be something decent now. I'm alive. Come on. I think that's the highest signal I've had today. I think it is. Can't remember. The heat's going to my brain now. Ah, oh, it could be a coin. I hope it's a coin. Come on, be a coin. You know you want to. You know, just a little bit. Just be a little bit of a coin. <laughs> Right, it's in the top bit. <laughs> he called a coin. Don't know what flavour coin it is, yeah? Uh, called a coin alive. Get in. Oh, wait a minute. It's got something, it's a foreign one. Let me have a clean up. It's a foreign coin. Right, I've had a squirt up, which I'm, bit regretting it now because it's robbed off some of the details but it does say Layard de France of the letter C with some fleur de lis on the bottom and that side's got a head on it but I can't for the life of me I mean that's an old French coin isn't it it's got some dude there it's quite an old one wish I had a date on it anyone knows what this coin is it's a Layard de France it's L-A-L-I-A-R-D Layard de -A France with a C underneath it with some fleur de lis on it. Any ideas what that is? Because I've never had one before. Cool. I like finding stuff I've never had. Give me some research. What a, what a coin to start the day with, though. Woohoo, get in. Well, I'm using, um, on the new update, you've got pitch mode on the old leg end. Uh, where's my buttons? There you go. It's a volume bit you press up. You see, it goes P. That's the pitch. So it's different sound in my ears I just pulled this up and I think that is a humongous beehive thimble which uh, beehive thimbles are really old thimbles looking at it it is it's complete as well so yeah that that's even bigger than what would fit on my hand that must have been for a giant look at the size of it so I'm happy with that I'm happy with that that's something old Something old. Oh, I say complete. I think it's, yeah, it's broken a little bit there, but still. Nice B.I. thimble for the day. Get in. Off a drop. The field's come to life a little bit now. Get some more relics and stuff. Uh, that looks part of an old buckle, he says. Yeah, look at that. Um, I'm hoping to say it's part of a Tudor buckle, looking at that. So, yeah. Hopefully, I'll find some Tudor coinage. Be nice to find a Henry VIII. Just saying, I haven't found one yet in nine years. <laughs> anyway, I've got a little buckle. Bit of a buckle, should we say. Here I go. That was quite a far bit down as well, that one. I've got another little tiny thimble. So I've gone from beehive to a little, little tiny one. That wouldn't even fit my little finger. I've got one that wouldn't even fit in my thumb. And I've got one now that won't even fit in my little finger. <laughs> From one extreme to the other. <sighs> right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm calling it. It's just too hot for me today. I have been out for about four and a half hours. Um, but yeah, index now, index, and end it. Uh, I'm sweating. I've, I don't know. I've probably got wet patches under the armpits, and I probably smell absolutely amazing. If this is smell of vision, you can smell me. Mm -hmm. Smell a mixture of garlic, potato. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Um, no silver again. My silver drought continues and my gold drought continues. But anyway, I enjoyed myself. Actually enjoyed myself, even with a legend. It's a good day's digging. But it's chatting me here. Shut up. Um, other than that, without further ado, I'm going to go home and edit this video for your enjoyment. Uh, please hit the thumbs up. If you got this far, um, subscribe. The amount of people, the amount of views I get from people not subscribed. If every single person who watched my video subscribed, I'd be a very happy man. But then again, it might not be your cup of tea. You might just want to come and take the mick out of me. If so, subscribe. Take, it, take the mick out of me more often. Off a shot.